Hello there, and welcome once again to Sex Talk with Auntie Mika. This week, I want to ask a question. I want to know how passionate are you about your love life, about your life in general? Do you find any passion in it, or is it just one more thing that you do? Hmm. Let's explore. Let's take the time to find the passion in, in our love life. When uh, your significant other uh, is feeling a little randy and uh, wants to initiate something something, do you roll your eyes and be like, ugh, again? Or are you annoyed? Are you, is his approach off? Are you put off by the thought? Are you just exhausted and don't even want to think about it? Or do you approach it more in the sense that, okay, well, you're feeling Randy, okay, then I am going to take my time with this one. I'm going to make you work for it. And, uh, Play with him. Explore him. Find all those curves that you like so much. Why are you even with him? And then look for that flame to ignite inside you. That passion. The passion that is in the moment now. It's not thinking about what you have to do later on or if you can hurry up and get this over with so you can get to bed or before your show starts. <laughs> right? But really slowing down and looking at sex like a point in time where all time stops. You know, when you make all the rules, but and you can create this, this universe of, of joy and, and love and sensual pleasure that, uh, you know, those moments you never want to end. Can, can, you, can you create that? Can you do that with yourself? Can, can you do that with someone else? Um, so, yeah, I'm wondering how passionate you are about your lives. And, and if you're not, if you're struggling, why? What's holding you back? What's keeping you from being here now? What's keeping you from opening up completely to the moment to feeling every emotion that you could feel at that moment and giving in completely to that moment. What is it? It's gotta be something up here, right? It, what, what holds us back? Is it fear? What are we afraid of? Are you afraid of looking like an idiot? Are we, I mean, are we uh, afraid that, that uh, our partner's not going to like something that, that we might do? I, hmm, what is it that, that's going on that we are so dispassionate about everything we do? And, you know, sometimes I think maybe it's just a matter of perspective. Maybe we're so used to being the other way, to not thinking about things enough, or really being in the moment. Because in our day to day, we're constantly thinking about what comes next, right? It's like, okay, working on this email, gotta get this email done by this time because I got a meeting. Okay, gotta hurry up and get through this meeting so I can have my lunch, and whatever it is, right? Always thinking about that next thing. And, you know, Maybe we do this sometimes with our partners. Maybe, maybe when one of us initiates, the other one's like, 
Oh, yeah, okay, you got about 20 minutes before my show starts. Oh, yeah, I really want to get to bed, so let's hurry up and get this over with. Are you doing that? I, I mean, you know, I guess it's okay every once in a while, but I gotta wonder what it is. Is it, is it really just a matter of perspective? Can we really just stop and breathe? and really be here now because when you are there when you are in the moment there is such passion that sexual playground is just on fire right and you feel amazing he's doing everything right you're doing everything right everything is just here and now there is no outside of your bubble <laughs> and and really when we're in those moments at that moment we're thinking of nothing but what's going on and we are truly experiencing life we are truly caught up in this passion and all is right in the world now Think about that moment for, for, for a little bit. Imagine what it feels like. Ugh. I'm all tingly again. Now, what if we could hold on to that moment throughout the rest of our day? Can you imagine? Can you imagine what the world would be like if we could get up and be in the moment and not think about what's next and just be? and enjoy and experience and take it all in at once, you know? And imagine how much more passionate we'd be with our lives. Imagine how much we could accomplish in our lives. <sighs> so, the next time you or your partner are feeling a little randy, wanting to get a little something something going on, I challenge you to stay in the moment to experience the moment, to breathe it in, grab hold, open hearted, open mind, nothing else going on but the things that are going on, you know? <laughs> and hold on to that feeling. Think about it later on in the day. Think about it the next morning. Try to find ways to grab hold of that. I mean, how awesome. How awesome would it be to just be in the moment and have such pleasure that it's, it reminds you of that same pleasure that you get sexually. You know, right before you're about to orgasm and you're just, <gasps> everything is perfect, yes, yes, yes. Imagine if you could feel that way about your life. Wouldn't you want to? Hmm. I know I'd want to. Makes me want to think. And makes me want a little time to myself. So have a wonderful, wonderful week. Try to find passion in your life wherever you can. Grab a hold of it. Let go of any inhibitions that you have. And just live your life to its fullest. Because I guarantee it will carry over to the bedroom. And once you get in the bedroom, it can carry throughout your life. Have a great week, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>